supply, your safety and well-being are so important. <laughs> we we so literally made it here one minute. So we we left the bar and realized we First, had two sure minutes to board our flight. And then we All got here and they were like, you guys don't want to miss your flight. We like flew on here. Prepare for That buggy full of goodness. The belt's broken. Big boy over there. We are in here. This is the base camp. We've got all our shit thrown in here. The essentials, you know. We are going to eat very, very good this week. Look at that fridge. Look at that protein. And those liquid pork chops. And then the morning rehydration. This is the base camp. Then we got one down by the river coming up. It's supposed to be Big, Ky big Sky Country. There's no yeah. sky. There's no sky in Big Sky Country. It's all smoke. It's smoke. You can smell it in the air. Foggy haze oversetting all the mountain. It's a little different, <clears throat> but it's a little sad, isn't it? It's still beautiful. Hello, and welcome to Montana. We're here at the Sportsman's Lodge in downtown Melrose. These people know how to be hospitable, man. They picked us up at the airport Friday in Bozeman, drove us down, put us in the Centennial Cabin, which is a, cab a homesteader cabin that was in the Yellowstone that was relocated to here, and now we get to sleep in it. They have pet-friendly camping, pet-friendly cabins, RV sites. Uh, we have the Sunrise Fly Shop just down the road and the Hitching Post Bar and Grill. Um, Friday we had a blast, met everybody. Had a big party, it was a super good time. fish rising just sip after sip after sip after sip nope it is a white fish 
Just trout. No, I'm just catching whitefish. Breaking off. Ah, oh, you son of a bitch. <laughs> yeah, pretty though. Whitefish? <laughs> Doing that shaking crap test, I think it's a whitey. He spit it too? Yeah. Damn you, <laughs> you too. Hey, is that a grayling? It's a rainbow. They're good fighters. Doubled up on the whiteys. Look how thick this trico hatch is right now. Insane. That's a thick fish. He's big. Look at this trico hatch right now. Insanity. Oh, Yvonne Chouinard yeah. from Patagonia. This is uh, his favorite fish to catch, to eat. Looks like a, uh, looks like a bonefish. Mm -hmm. Poor man's bonefish. Go ahead. Into the release. Nice. So the craziest thing just happened. I cast it in this nice hole in front. First cast hooked into a fish, snapped me off. Thought, man, that felt like a pretty good fish. So I just left a single nymph on that was still on there, cast it back in the hole. Two drifts later, hook into a fish, fight under the bank, and I get my first nymph back. So that was the same fish that ate twice in a row. Insane. Nice little cutty, about 12 or 13 inches. But uh, yeah, so I got my nymph back. That's pretty sweet. Uh, we are in the middle of the drought. So we have hoot owl restrictions, especially on the big hole here. Um, we're not allowed to fish. As you can see, we're just chilling. Um, actually, Matt and Dan are back in the cabin asleep. So uh, we had a fun night last night. Big welcome party. Um, we caught a ton of whitefish, like ridiculous amounts of whitefish today. The trout were hit or miss. Um, we were hoping to not have to use small flies and not have to like, you know, hardcore nymph and things like that, but Unfortunately, that wasn't the case. We kind of had to work for the fish today. And we did, and it was fun. We waited, um, stayed on the big hole. Tomorrow, I should be catching my first west cup cutthroat. And uh, we're either doing that or we're going to the beaver head. So, either way, we don't care. We're just here to have fun. Um, this is beautiful, man. Couldn't imagine a better way to spend a quick fishing vacation and good friends to do it with. You got that girl. Nice, baby. You can send her if you want. Nice. Yeah. 